Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to my F1 2019 career mode here today for the German Grand Prix. If you missed our last episode at Silverstone, watch that before you see this one, I'll link it below. And also, if you're new around here and you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything if you like these kind of videos. Without further ado, let's get into qualifying. So into qualifying, and before I start, I know the racing line's back on. That's make I said was gone for good in the last episode, but you have no idea how much I've been struggling around this German track. I was really struggling at the hairpin and that corner where Vettel crashed um, last year. So I was just turned the racing line on as a bit of a benchmark. As you can see here, as we come up to the line now, and we go P5. Okay, you're in the top 10. So on to our final run, and we have some talking to do of Hamilton as he lets us pass, and then tries to rear the take us down at the hairpin. It destroys our lap, the lap we needed to improve on, but we'll continue on anyway, and we're going to round the final corner, and it's only going to be good enough for a lonely P19. Good day today. Good day today. Is Claire actually serious? What qualifying was she watching Austria on a repeat or something? Good day, Claire. I'm P19 in a Red Bull. That is the second fastest car according to the r and I'm not answering any of your questions. Let's get into this German Grand Prix where it is raining. There's nowhere at all I'd rather be today than here at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix. We have an incredibly competitive field this year, which means we should be in for a treat. And judging by the sea of people filling the grandstands, there's a fair-sized chunk of Germany that agrees with me. It's 2.8 miles around the Hockenheim ring then and some fairly wet conditions to overcome on this 17-corner circuit. The long curved back straight leads into a tight hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity. But expect to see the cars running wide as breaking offline could prove very difficult indeed. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel and Bottas, Gasly, Butler, Magnussen and George Russell, Giovinazzi, Albon, Lucas Faber and Norris, Holkenberg, Grosjean, Robert Kubica and Lance Stroll, Brown and Daniel. Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck. Emotional speech by Jeff, but the race today it's raining and we all know what happened the last time it rained for the German Grand Prix. Putting fuel in the car, nothing kind of strategy, but let's get into this. It's German Grand Prix as the lights go out, everyone very cautious off the line trying to find the traction. We're going to get past, we're going to go to the left of the Williams, we're going to get past the racing point of Stroll and then go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen and then nearly get past both McLarens there. We've got past one, we just need to try and get past the other. Heading down into that corner, we get past the other McLaren, down the inside of one Toro Rosso there. So we've gained multiple positions at the start of this Grand Prix that we desperately, desperately needed to do. We're on the back now of Alex Albin off former teammate and we're going to go down the inside of about three cars there we're going to get the Williams of George Russell we're going to get past Devon Butler and we nearly nearly got Giovinazzi in the in the Mercedes as well heading through the kind of corner we nearly hit the back of Giovinazzi that would be a good thing to do at that Mercedes grandstand which we're going to go down the inside now at that fast corner couldn't quite do it on Gio 
we're going to try and go down the inside of Vettel Corner. I'm just going to call it that for this episode and we get the job done there. Beautiful move there. As we come on to the end of the first lap and we skip on and Giovinazzi is going to come back at us now as we hit the back of Bottas. And we've nearly gone round. We'll take another look at that in just a second. But here comes Valtteri Bottas. We were trying to have a look at. We managed to defend Giovinazzi, but of course that was because of the contact down the inside of Valtteri Bottas we go but we've locked up we've gone miles off the track and now Giovinazzi is re-overtaking us and we're going to have to sit in a slipstream now even Devon Butler is having a look at us into that corner we're going to have to defend to the outside and we do and now we can get our head down and get on with our race we need to continue to gain these sorts of positions this is a replay of what happened you can see Giovinazzi was on our inside I just locked the fronts up and just locked up and went straight into the path of Valtteri Bottas and there was nothing there that I could really do to avoid the incident I was skipping on a couple of laps and here comes Devon Butler right behind us as we go wide and off the track Devon Butler has gone round our outside he's done us I ain't letting that happen it's Devon Butler we've back alongside him and now it's a drag race it's free wide between Butler us and the Williams of George Russell as well George Russell down the inside we've kind of been swamped here we now have Albon on our inside and now Lucas Way we're trying to get round the outside somewhere but he's fallen back and now we've lost out to George Russell and Devon Butler we're going to go for the London Devon Butler down the inside we get the job done but we've gone off the track again this is what I was saying about me really struggling with my breaking points this weekend but we do re-overtake Butler in the end and now we can set our eyes back on the Williams of George Russell and then hopefully back on the Mercedes of Giovinazzi as well as, skip, as skipping on now we have re-overtaken the Williams somewhere not quite sure where as we're going to come round the final corner up ahead though out of the race goes and oh there's a massive crash out of the race that is Kevin Magnussen into the wall he goes and out of the race it was Lewis Hamilton and he just stops in the middle of the track everyone managed to go around him but good old Magnussen manages to go straight into the back of him and what is going on there this is the point of view from Kevin Magnussen and ouch that's a big crash and that is him down at the back of the field and out of this race pretty much and this is Sergio Perez getting overtaken this is the second place in this race by Charles Leclerc Leclerc goes right round the outside that's a beautiful move on Sergio Perez but he defends Perez he didn't get the exit that I thought he got and now here comes George Russell back passes can he get the job done no he can't he's going wheel to wheel though with Alex Alvin behind no he isn't he's down our inside that camera angle absolutely threw me and he has got back past us there and now we're going to drag race him through the king canal towards the Mercedes grandstand um, but we're going to have to wait a lap as we're going to go now to the outside of George Russell and we're going to get the job done all the way around the outside that is a spectacular move now and now hopefully we can set our eyes back on Antonio Giovinazzi or not in this case as back down our inside comes George Russell and now we're going to have to wait as can we drag racing so it's actually Lucas Weber who we're battling with so Albon's fallen way back like kind of expecting to do Weber's come through the field and we've gone wide here and Weber's going to re-overtake us heading into through the kink and he's not we're going to defend to the outside that was very very close now that, that was a, a very close move he, he backed out of it though and that's what we've got to trust obviously we are actually former former teammates from F2 that's such a thing obviously F2 part of the story line for the season we defended Lucas Weber again and really took him into that corner 
I know we've made a little mistake and he's going to try and re overtake us here. We defend him here, but he's going to have to run on us heading down the straight once again. And it's just a pure slipstream that I just couldn't break in this race. And he re overtakes us here. Does Lucas Weber? We're going to go down the inside of the German and re overtake him. You can see there I'm changing to McCon. The steering wheel on for strategy decided to talk to Jeff because the the tyres were shot, they were gone. They were on they were they were already in the bin to be honest we pit on lap sixteen of thirty four so fairly a fair way through the race. We're gonna go on to another set of the inters a two point four second stop so I think the, the average is a 2.5, so it's just under the average pit stop, so fairly quick. And now we just need to see what we can do on this lap. Can we pull any sort of gap on the Tour Russell Weber? And a couple of laps later, we did be pulled out a couple of seconds, but I made a mistake and Weber was already back right on, uh, right behind us on our gearbox, so we. We didn't really last long, so we down our inside. He comes again. We are still battling with the German. He gets past us there, and now we're right on the back of him through the kink. And now, can we get the job done down the inside into the Mercedes grandstand corner? Yes, we can. It's a grandstand overtake, very late on the brakes, Danny Rick style that. Now can we pull away down the inside? We've got made a massive mistake at the hairpin. We've gone completely off the track. Weber's seen his chance and gone for it. We're going to squeeze Weber a little bit, and now we're going to go right on the outside like we did a couple of corners before. That's a mega move. We've got off the track again. You can see how much I was struggling this weekend. Skipping on again. There's a McLaren involved here. He gets past us, does Lucas Weber, and now the McLaren of Lando Norris. Thinks about it on us. We squeeze him into the apex. He's got poor exit and now he's left defending Devon Butler as Lucas Weber's all over us. We do somehow defend Lucas Weber and now heading into the first corner. We've gone wide, we've gone miles off the track. Weber seizes opportunity and goes back past us there side by side. He's just in front, heading into that second corner. And we've lost out, we've gone wide. Lando Norris sees his chance and we squeezed Lando Norris off there. And now we're, we're, we're slipstreaming Lucas Weber in the Toro Rosso. We're closing, we're closing, we're closing. Can we get the job done? We're going to go for the lunge down the inside. Job done with slight contact. And now Lando Norris has seen his chance and got past Weber too. So Weber been absolutely vanessed. At the hairpin, we've made a little mistake, gone through the gravel, and now here comes Lando Norris trying to go round our outside. We go wide, Lando Norris back down our inside, and now heading through the kink. There's slight contact, and off you can see there into the gravel went Lando Norris. What kind of contact was there? We'll have to wait and see in just a second as Lucas Weber's all over us. This is the replay you can see. I, not, I don't know what he's doing. He's literally driven off the track there. I know I squeezed him out. He could have backed out, waited, and then carried on. But no, he decided he was going through the gravel. So that is blame at his door. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We make a massive mistake again. We was, I was so struggling. Way, but Reva takes us. And now can we get back past him? You can see Devon Butler's having the run as we go on our on board and can we get the job done we're closing we're closing we're closing we're going to go down the inside into the hairpin we've gone miles off the track and Wade is going to stay ahead of us and now Devon Butler's thinking about it on us as we head through the kink and we're going to get onto the curb we're going to drop the car and we're going to hit the wall and we're going to go out of this German Grand Prix two disastrous weekends in a row this is the slow motion our car absolutely flying through the air and crashing back down that must have hurt inside the car this is some other angles of it you can see 
go head on into the barrier at at least 120 you can probably go back and see how quick we were this is running aboard Robert Kubica you can see pretty much the whole crash but yeah DNF here at Germany it's been a miserable weekend let's move on to Hungary another excellent win from Ferrari What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? It's a heroic effort for any drivers for racing conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and have the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. So that's been your German Grand Prix, very eventful ending, it's been two very stressful weekends in a row for us, Silverstone having the contact and crashing on the last lap with Bottas and then here crashing on all, all my fault, I just lost it on the curb, caught myself out and that was it in the wall, you can see the standings we are miles behind now and in the constructors we're starting to fall behind as well in the rivalry we've lost it pretty much to Charles Leclerc we've got a decent amount of R&D points though so we can do a good couple of upgrades as we go into it we're going to do two on the engine side because I thought tracks coming up obviously not Hungary but we've got Belgium we've got Italy very very power tracks so you know what we have the best engine, let's extend our advantage. Going into Hungary, one will come for Hungary, the other will come for Germany. Here's the crash again, let me know what you think of it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in Hungary. Goodbye. Good day today. 